sometimes your major just doesn't equal your career. So you have gone through your schooling, you have learned a lot about a particular field, but what we sometimes forget is that we have grown as a person. And so there are a lot of skills and experiences that we can bring to a profession that we didn't see ourselves within. Um, and so I use myself as an example. I was a chemistry major, and now here I am working in higher education. And so I was destined to be a problem solver, but just not how I intended. And so I would just encourage you to um, embrace the differences and the changes and know that um, the path to where you want to be is not this linear, easy thing. It can sometimes be quite jumbled up, but the journey is absolutely worth it. The employers, when they're looking at candidates that their major maybe doesn't absolutely match what they're looking for, they're looking for those transferable skills. So if you look at the NACE's top 20 skills that employers want, they put that out every year. The top five are problem solving, verbal communication, leadership, teamwork, and interpersonal skills. That's what they're looking for. That's what you want to highlight on your resume. That's what you want to highlight when you're networking. That's what you want to talk about in the interview is that you have those skills that, that can transfer to the job that they are looking for and that you're teachable. Internships are what I'm always going to recommend. I'm probably biased. I am a product of an internship. I did an internship and got hired on full-time for that position, and so I'm always, of course, promoting internships in my current job as well. Uh, but there's other ways, too. You know, there's the Center for Civic Engagement. They offer a lot of volunteer opportunities um, that might be in the field of interest, especially if you're considering the social sciences and social services. Um, they're right on campus. There's registered student organizations. Um, that you can get involved in, talk to your faculty. Uh, I was a double major in English and History. I had been accepted as a social work major. I toured, asked some questions about that. It wasn't what I was looking for, um, so I went to English instead. Um, I needed a bit more social interaction, so I did some more exploring. Uh, I graduated in May of 2020, so it was a really crazy time. Um, so I decided if I can just get back to the university, and I ended up actually joining career services then. So that's how I found my passion for working in student affairs. I applied for the job, I got it, and I've been loving it ever since.